Hello, it's Brent Shire with Leverage Lean, and this is a see how video for set default Outlook signature tutorial. On my website, I have a quick description of what the default signature setting is, and you're probably familiar with this one. But if you're using multiple Outlook accounts, you can set a default signature per account. This is great if you're working with different clients that have different signature needs. If they need a different image or a different email address, you can create a specific signature for that account. Additionally, if your email threads are getting really long, look to where you're firing the default signature. You can fire it during new messages and also email replies and forwards. If you exclude the replies and forwards, you can narrow down your email threads, making it easier to navigate to those past responses. Also on this webpage, I have a PDF tutorial here. If you'd rather walk through a step-by-step -step guide, you take some time to do that. If you want to see this in a bigger, better view, just click full screen mode here. So let me show you how to do this in Outlook. First thing we're going to do is navigate to new email. I've already generated a new email here for the sake of this video. And if you've already figured out what you want your signature to look like, go ahead and copy that content. Now we're going to be pasting that into the new signature we generate. From the message tab, navigate over to the signature button, click signatures. Once within here, we're gonna click new to create a new signature. And then you're gonna be asked to name that signature. So I'll do that now. And then just click okay. Once you click okay, you actually have access to the edit signature box here. I'm just gonna paste in the content that I've already copied. And then in the top right under email account, make sure this is the account you want the signature to be associated with. Finally, for new messages, I want the signature to apply, so I'm going to select it there. And then for replies and forwards, I'm actually going to leave this to none. This will narrow down your email threads, making it a lot shorter. And once you're done creating a signature, just click Save. You can click OK to exit this, but if you're using multiple email accounts, I want to show you how to create that as well. Let's generate a new email signature. So it's going to ask for a name. Let me type that in here and you click OK, you now have access to another edit signature box. I'm going to paste in the past signature because the only thing I want to change for this signature is the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and type that out here. So this is great if you have different needs per, per Outlook accounts. So I now have this specific signature created for this account. Now I need to make sure I've set the email account up here. So let's change this to the Brent Schneider at leveragelean.com email. And then for new messages, we'll change that and select the appropriate signature, leaving the replies and forwards to none. So now if you click save, you've now saved two signatures to two different Outlook accounts. You can click OK. And then just from the from box, whenever you're creating a new email, you can just navigate between those accounts and your signatures will change just based on the account you're selecting. All right. Well, I really want to know what you think of this default Outlook signature feature. There's maybe more to this than you really thought, so let me know what you think. Stay awesome.